YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Lex Lanson back in the place to be. This is what it is. This is the grand reveal. As you can see, the locks are still here. But if I turn to the side, this is what it looks like. Some of you guys guessed it on YouTube. I saw the comments, you guys talking about high top fade. So I have the high top fade. It goes pretty high up in the back. I did it guys, I did it. And I have to sacrifice some more locks for it. Um, the last video you guys saw uh, where I was talking about the drastic change a couple of hours later, I ended up in the bathroom with a pair of scissors. Um, I chopped off, I believe it's 31 more locks. So I'm down to like 60 locks. Um, I just basically took a roll off all the way around. I think I took off two rolls in the back. And then uh, the following afternoon, the next day, I went to the barber shop, told him that I wanted a fade. So, you know, the barber did me up nice. Uh, and then later that evening, which was yesterday evening, came home with the scissors and I took off four inches of my remaining locks. So that's what I meant by a drastic change. And I'll let the hair down so you could see exactly what it is I'm working with. Oh, shit. Much shorter guys, much shorter. It's like kind of like back to the two and a half, three year mark. Took off a lot of length. Took off a lot of length and to be honest guys, it's so light man. It's really, really, really super light. And I'm happy about that actually. It's a good change, it's a change that I've needed. Flip it over to the side, that's what it's looking like. Barbara did it nice, you know, he did as he, he, he did as good as he could do. So that's what, what it looks like. And uh, here's the other side. Here's the back. So, uh, I think it was two rows in the back. So the best part about, about this, is um, I got the best of both worlds, which is really cool. The best of both worlds. I can have my locks as well as maintain, you know, a fresh style from the barbershop. You know, I can have the locks and I can go in and get some, you know, some lineups. I can get some lineups, I can get uh, some faith and just, as you all know, I was kind of at that point in my journey where I wanted to um, have a cleaner look and this allows me to do so. So what I do really is kind of I tie it back. I haven't mastered the art of tying it on top, which is what I want to do, but for now, this works. Uh, this is a lot, a lot, uh, a lot lighter. Let me know what you guys think. You guys messing with it? You guys rocking with it or not? I don't know if you are, but I'm happy with it. I think it's a good change. It's a change that I needed. Um, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna apologize right now because um, I don't have any footage of any of the stuff I did. I, I cut off 30 locks, again, around the top row, all the, all the way around. I went to the barber shop and I trimmed and I didn't take any footage. For whatever reason, I just wasn't in the mood for it. And I felt like it was kind of like a moment that I needed to have with myself. So I hope you guys understand. I'm sorry, it would have been a pretty cool video, but I figured I'd just come here and tell you exactly what went down. So yeah, I like this stuff, man. That's really cool. And I'm down to 60 locks, so it's a lot less locks to maintain. I kind of twisted myself up yesterday to give a cleaner look, and uh, I'm happy about it, guys. I feel like it's um, a fresh start. I feel like I also shaved a few years off my, my, my image as well. I feel like I look a little younger. I don't know, it sounds kind of crazy, but with all the hair, kind of felt like I was looking uh, like an old man. I'm not an old man, but um, I, just, I just feel like I a few years off my life uh, by doing this cut. So I'm happy with it, man. 
let me know what you guys think. If you guys think it's cool, let me know. If you guys don't like it, you can't believe I did what I did. Let me know too, it's cool, it's all love anyways. But I did it for me. It was a change I needed. And uh, you know, I'm not really ready to cut the locks off. So like I said, this enables me to experience the pleasures of both worlds, you know, the barbershop life and the dreadlock life. So it's like a little half and half and I'm happy with that. As far as uh, length goes, um, uh, will I maintain the length? I don't know. They're going to grow, that's for sure. And if they ever get to a point where I feel like I need to trim them again, I will. And speaking of which, trimming, when I cut them open, it was like, I think it's build up, guys. I was talking to, uh, to Nalox about that. He asked me what I think it is. I was kind of scared. I don't think it's mold. I think it's just build up because for those of you who know, some of you know, some of you who don't know, the earlier stages of my lock journey, I was using beeswax. And apparently that really gets in and it's hard to get out. But yeah, I really don't think it's mold. So from now on, um, well, actually, last night when I twisted, I used water, water and coconut oil. I have in a little spray bottle. So whatever lock I was ready to twist up, I would just spray it in and then twist. And I didn't even use clips this time. Basically, I threw my hair back in a kind of, how you see it now, I would pull out a few rolls, twist them. And when I was done twisting the particular lock, I would put it right back into the band. And uh, that was kind of my procedure. I didn't have to use any clips, blow drying and any, any of that. So that's my new method. I think it's gonna be a lot better than using products. I don't like products and for obvious reasons. So uh, let me know what you guys think, man. If you guys are messing with it, if not, it's cool. If you like it, it's cool. I'm happy and uh, it's a change I needed. And again, I'm sorry I didn't film it. My girl asked me last night, she's like, did you film any of this? And I said, no, I filmed absolutely nothing. And, uh, you know, again, guys, forgive me for that. Anyways, hope you guys like the style. I'll keep tuning in every once in a while, like I usually do. Let you guys know it's popping in my dread journey. Uh, so if you're in a position where you feel like you need a major change and you're too afraid to do it, just do it. Just, just do it. You know, how I approach the situation, I kind of just more or less walked into the bathroom with the scissors and started snipping. I didn't stand there in the mirror and, you know, think about it. I just did it. And uh, no regrets, no regrets. This is done, man. This one here, this one here I measured 18 inches, 18 inches. And they're all more or less the same length. So my locks averaged like 18 inches and I took four inches off the remaining. So they're down to about uh, 14 inches, 13, 14 inches, give or take. So I still have quite a, quite a decent length of locks, so I'm happy about that. I'm happy, some are shorter than others, but that's fine. But I took four inches off every single one. I was not biased. I don't know what happened here, I got some type of scratch. But yeah, let me know what you think, you two. I like it, I'm happy. I got this too. I haven't used it yet. Maybe this is a little bit of a spoiler, but fuck it. I didn't film all of this for you, so I might as well give you a little something. So I'm gonna add some color to it. I had enough hair care for one weekend, so I'm just gonna ride out this week and maybe do it next weekend. And uh, I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'm gonna sign out. One love. Peace. <laughs>